Because she does not like it. Okay, okay, darling, darling, darling. It's okay. There you go. There you go. Now it fell over again. <laughs> it's too big for you, huh? There you go. <laughs> Deli. Bless you, it's a little sick, huh? Bless you. Oh my god, you're not going to believe what I just found. I was walking out of class, and I just saw this. It's so cool. Check this out. Check this out. Isn't it so cool? Yeah, I just, I saw this when I was walking out of class. <laughs> it's an updated version of the Ghostbusters mobile. You can see it's a Scion. Product placement. Look at the detail. Inside the car is pretty normal though. Look at this. Only in Texas. I bet this person is pretty cool. So I thought you'd take want to take a look at this. Okay, and that's all for now. I will see all of you later. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll show you this part. Isn't that cool? So yeah. If someone was here so they can get a photo, help me take a photo. But there you go. Hope you enjoy. Having a good time, Mamas? You know you're not allowed there, right? <laughs> With your mind, I'm trying to eat a piece. Come on. Is this my punishment for not letting you go outside? You're so cute when you're mis even when you're misbehaving. What happened to your nose? Yes, get down. Where'd it go? Little mama's, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hi, so just to let you know what's going on. So yeah, we're gonna context more um, because actually I've been getting like, a lot of compliments. Like I don't know if I told you this, but I wear my glasses more lately because it feels that like, I look I, I feel like I look younger with my glasses because it hides these the bags underneath my eyes, which are caused from lack of sleep and allergies and supposedly hereditary. 
So yeah, I thought you're probably looking at them now, but I've been told that I've, I look, I do look young, like even with the contact lenses. And I was like, still, like, I didn't want to wear them, and then I broke my glasses. But it's, they're not like crazy broken; they're just uh, a little bit broken. Well, let's see. I don't know if you can see right here, but I have like a little scratch. It's probably healed up now because I've been waiting for a few days. Um, but yeah, they were they were I mean, they were they bust a pad on my glasses. I don't know if you can see it. Hello? <laughs> Everyone's watching me vlog in my car. So I, I broke the pad right here on my glasses. I don't know if you can see them. Right right there. And I've been wearing like that for weeks. and No big deal. But the other day I fell asleep with them on. Laying down this way and the side was broken. I woke up and I just was like, what's, I'm like, am I sweating? Is this, why am I wet here? And I just, just, just like, like that. And I just realized, oh my god, it was blood. And I'm like, whoa. So, since then, I've been wearing my contact lenses. And it's been about two weeks now, and I finally had time to go fix my glasses. So, that's what I'm doing right now. So, we'll see what, if we go back, let's see if I go back to glasses or stay with contacts. What do you think? Think I'm gonna go back to my glasses? Because these are actually a lot more convenient. I've noticed I just put them on and just go on with your day. But they have distortion. But the, but the contacts, you, you know, you have to clean them, you have to put them in the solution, make sure they don't get dry, be careful not to lose them when you put them in, taking them out, not fall asleep with them on. There's just so many rules with contacts, but they look good when they're on, when you're in your eyes. And as far as I know, there isn't distortion. I don't I want to know because I'm so nearsighted that, I don't know, maybe contacts are just as bad as glasses, but in a different way. But to me, there's no distortion. Like, when I wear these... Looks like everything is curving towards me, kind of like you're like in a fishbowl. And then when I put on my contacts, everything looks so straight and flat. It looks like everything's in HD. Now, does that make sense? Because I, th I, I don't know if it makes sense to any of you guys. Maybe it does to someone that wears glasses and contacts. So that's what's going on. So let's get them fixed see what, and see what happens. Okay, so actually I won't be getting my glasses fixed because since I was, I was too busy vlogging and I didn't realize they closed for lunch for one hour at one and guess what time I started blogging <laughs> so if I didn't blog which was about 12.57 I probably would have made it but I wasn't and I was ch ch chatting so I will not be getting my glasses fixed so yeah, there you go so I'm going to be wearing my contact lenses a little bit longer well, this is life okay well I'm going to head home and go get something to eat Talk to you guys later. Uh-oh. I think she wants her bed. Hey, Mama. Oh. They're half-brothers. Different Mamas. Same as Daddy. Full up. I miss you guys. I want a tree close up. Closer. Don't move. Thank you, don't move. Okay, so you're probably wondering, who is that cat? Um, that cat is Don. And basically his story was one day, um, it was a night. Um, he was outside with his family. And I had to go to Office Depot to get some school supplies. And accidentally, when I got in the car, I separated him from the his family, like his family went one way and he went another. And then when I got back, um, he was still separated and he was outside our window, like um, this window, the front window and the side window right there, crying all night long. And this is like um, late September, mid-October, I don't remember, but um, he was out there crying and crying and crying and crying. And the next day, um, he was still out there. He was, he was still crying. In fact, um, he was lucky because um, I found him, um, I went, um, I, I heard him, I, 
and I finally saw like you know he was I was getting ready to leave for class on the next day um I was like where'd he go like okay good um got in my car well I didn't get in my car I checked underneath my car and I'm glad I did because I found him on the drive axle but he wouldn't let me catch him um so I couldn't go to class that day and then um I think eventually I checked again and I couldn't find him and um, so I took a chance took uh, went to class I came back home and he was still crying and I don't know what happened to his family it just they just disappeared and I noticed he would follow me around but he wouldn't let me catch him so I came up with this clever idea to lock all the cats the remaining litter um, which I think was about six at the time and the rest of the cats in my room and I opened the door and walked inside my house and sure enough he followed me and I closed the door and then I let the uh, I, I tried picking him up with a, a glove and he let me he hissed it first but he let me pick him up and then so I, I decided to open the door and let him let the other kittens and cats um get familiarized with him and he got familiarized with him instantly and the reason why is because they actually had the same father. They had different. They have a different mother, uh, obviously because we, we didn't give birth to them. But they had like, the same father, so they were half, um, half sibs, half siblings. So they got along very well. Um, Phoebe didn't take, didn't. Um, Phoebe on the other hand did not take kindly to this at all. And from that point on, she was a meanie again <laughs> uh, she was mean to all her kittens she was mean to all the cats she was of course mean to the the, the stray uh, the, the feral which and I named him Don because he got a second chance at life so get it Don D-A-W-N so he stayed with us for a while and he eventually got adopted with the rest of the kittens um, and the footage you saw earlier uh, was me visiting Phoebus and Delmos in the in the in the shelter. Callista was there too, because uh, I took him three at a time. I don't remember the order exactly, but I think Phoebos was on the second batch of kittens that I took. It was really interesting, yeah, but basically almost every day I could, if I could, I would visit them after class and definitely on Saturdays on the weekends. And I would just come by and, and visit them so and make them look cute and eventually they got adopted every time I come by. Um, Sometimes it would be, oh, I, would, I would say goodbye to them. I think I would see them again the next time when I come back and I found out they were adopted. And I, ne I never knew what happened to them at that point on. I'm sure they're, they're happy and they're safe wherever they are. Just that's what happened. Most to all of them, um, except for the last three, which I'm sure we'll, I don't want to spoil it for you. So we'll let you see how, what happens. If not, I'll make another one of these videos to supplement the vlog. Anyway, back to the vlog, and I guess that does it for this one, so that brings you up to date with what's going on. And also, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the reason is really short. Uh, it's because, I, like I said, I was going back to school, and I was, also had a job, so I really didn't have time to vlog much. And I was either doing homework, or I was resting, or stressed out because uh, of school and work. But I basically didn't vlog, but... Um, I did pretty good for that first semester, and I did even better the second semester. Did great for the summer. Um, and then this last school year, it was a little bit of a struggle. Um, but we'll see if those come up later. I don't want to spoil it too much. So back to the vlog. Actually, this is the end of this vlog. So bye for now.